guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be reading Chapter 5 of The Secret Soldier, The Fortune Teller. When Debo was 21, the American won an important battle in Yorktown, Virginia, but the fame was not yet over. America had a big problem with the toys. The toys were people who lived in America but, but believed America should still be ruled by England. Toys did not want America to be a free and independent country. Often, toys would steal food and guns from the American and give them to the British soldiers. Often, the toys and the Americans fought each other. But now people were getting tired of fighting. The war had been dragged on for six years. General Washington had been calling for a different kind of soldier. He did not want the old kind of fighting men, the men who would stay in the army for only a few months and then go back to their families. He wanted soldiers to sign up for the army for three years at a time. Continental soldiers, they were called. Many of the men were answering the call and signing up for three years. Dabba was getting more and more restless. She would do one more weaving job. She would clo- she wove cloth to tie around her chest so she would look flat-chested like a boy. She wove a piece of cloth big enough to make a man's suit of clothes for herself. She bought a man's hat and shoes. One day, she put all her clothes on for the first time. Do I still look like me, she wondered. Would my mother know me? She would make a trip to her mother. It would be a test. She passed. Her mother did not know her. A fortune teller lived near her mother's house. Deborah, wearing her man's disguise, went to see him. I'm not here to take your advice, she said in her deepest voice she could manage. I'm only curious about what you will say to me. You're an honest man, the fortune teller told Deborah. I see your future, your future, many adventures, but not all of them will be successful. Thanks for tuning in today. Come back tomorrow for chapter six. Bye.